Good news. Just wonderful news. Okay. Microsoft, I'm saying this all tongue in cheek today, everyone. Microsoft is trying to make your Microsoft licensing much easier for you. Okay. And for your MSP. But there's a trade off. You know, on that flip side, that trade off side, there's a price increase coming up. Um, and even better than that, there's a new subscription model that's coming out that's going to have an additional price increase associated with it. So let's just get all that great news out of the way right now. Um, and, and, you know, I understand. We get it. You know, there's going to be a price increase. But me and the Reboot crew are here today to help you understand the new licensing models with Microsoft 365, those price increases, in an effort to help you make your Microsoft 365 licensing choices. Uh, but first, uh, this is The Reboot, and I'm Jim Gast with Splicing Consulting here in Cincinnati. And we're here each week, me and The Reboot crew, to help you make important decisions in business, um, in technology, cybersecurity, human resources, operations, marketing, sales productivity, and so on and so forth. Joining me today are... Hi, I'm Dave Groot with Twin Star Technologies in Culpeper, Virginia. I'm Brian Bracci, BNL PC Solutions on Long Island in New York. EA Managed Technology Services, Brandon Bowers, uh, South Florida, New Jersey, all over. Yeah, no doubt about that. Gentlemen, thanks for joining. I got to get your guys' impression first, okay? No one likes price increases. No one does. What are your, what are your guys' take on that, you know? Microsoft has been around since the BPOS days, right? BPOS, can you remember those days? Um, and we've not really seen an, a price increase per se. So what do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Uh, I mean, look, they've invested a boatload of technology into their cloud environment and Microsoft 365 continues to evolve to be a very, you know, vibrant and mature product. And uh, on that, you know, generally costs some money. And, and the fact that it, like you say, I mean, BPOS, I mean, my gosh, uh, SkyDrive, I mean, that was back in, it's a lie ago, but the prices haven't increased, right? I mean, it, it, it's been pretty much flat. And I, I'm not so bothered by the price increase. Uh, I mean, certainly nobody likes price increases, but okay, in time, if we continue to give back what we're getting from Microsoft in terms of development and, and innovation, then I'm okay with that. All right. There's All other right. parts yeah. of the new program I'm not so okay with, but the we'll price get to increase that. I can get past. We'll get to that. Right. Brian? Brandon, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, I, I I understand like like you guys are saying. I understand the the increase, and and you know, not saying it's not justified. And I do appreciate the fact that you kind of could still a la carte the services that you want. Um, and there, and and you, if you try to take those services and and let's say build it in house like you used to do, I mean, you're nowhere near the cost to to try and do that. So you're you're not. Yeah, I don't want to say anyone's losing. But um, there's other parts of the program again that I think are, are you know sting a little more than the actual price increase itself. Right. I, I think there's two things to think about as it pertains to the price increase. Number one, <clears throat> when have you gotten a price increase on your Microsoft bill? Never at this point, right? Unless you added services or license counts, things like that. So there's really been no price increase, and there's only been new feature after new feature. So mm -hmm. like David was saying, they're investing tons of money into their platform. Everything is getting better. I mean, just the OneDrive, underlying OneDrive backend engine is completely different and, and rewritten um, from five years ago when we started mm -hmm. leveraging the, the platform. So um, now you get, what do you get in business premium? You get MDM, you get conditional access. You, you're getting all kinds of things that you just never had before or you had to pay extra for um and some people just don't realize that at this point or they're not taking advantage of some of those systems so i i think it was it's overdue at this point even though like you said Dave, no one likes a price increase but like it's going to happen at some point and i know like everybody said there's other things pertain like i already was fine with the price increase until i started hearing about these other things coming I'm like oh my god this is going to be such a pain in the butt to deal with now so yeah. Yeah. Um, guys i i paid almost eight dollars for a sandwich for lunch today like <laughs> prices are going up 
You got a cheap oh, sandwich, cheap. man. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking a cheeseburger, like you yeah, know, peanut butter and jelly hero? kind of thing. Like you know, I'm not talking nice food or good food. You know, just just. I mean, what used to be like a buck fifty, right? Like now you're, you know, I mean, do you remember? I don't know. I don't know if any of you in the room ever smoked, but like, my gosh, I mean, I can remember when I was a kid, we used to buy cigarettes for like 25, 30 cents a pack. And by the time I quit, it was three, four dollars a pack. And now I think they're charging six or seven bucks a pack. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're close to 20 in in New York City. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to save that cigarette show for later on. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I'm not trying to go down that road, but, you know, (laughs) price increase, like, again, gas is gone. Everything's going up, guys. And, you know, at least you can say, you know, and compare. I mean, if you look at gasoline costs going up, what do you, what more do you get for your gallon of gas? Nothing. You get nothing right. for that gallon of gas. And and you guys have said it, I think, in, in many different ways. I'm going to say it my way. Microsoft spends over a billion dollars a year just in security. A, over a billion dollars a year just in securing these environments, right? It's a fact. It's probably spent more than that now. That's from a couple of years ago. And they're only asking for, a, a you know, a dollar to, to three dollar increase for the higher end licenses. That's anywhere from a 10 to 20 percent increase. Don't get me wrong. That's big. Right. You know, but you're you're getting more continually getting more greater improved security. They're not letting the product suffer and, and just, you know, and just uh, just sink into oblivion and be a bad piece of software. They're actually really improving it. And they're also not not asking you from some great big money for the next version of it. So you're constantly up to date. I, I think that a price increase is well earned in this situation, without a doubt. Right. It's well overdue. Now, those price increases, they were supposed to go into effect. Were they supposed to go into effect in January or something like that? They pushed that back to March is March, what I'm understanding. Yeah. 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 And so let's just kind of put a couple of things out there. I'll, I'll just say it here. I got them right here. I mean, a quick little spreadsheet. If you got a business basic account that's going from five to six bucks. Yeah. If you got a, you know, 300 people, that's $300 more a month. That's a big chunk of change. But if you're, if most business business basic user. Well, have, hold, right? hold on a second. Yeah, $300 yeah. on top of the 300. Right. Wait, wait, in a 300 employee company, $300 is not a lot of money in yeah. the grand scheme of things yeah. Yeah. for a business minded person to look at. What is right. this cost really to my business bottom line compared to what are some larger costs? Like I, I know we all know this, but like my employee costs, productivity, downtime, like these things are much bigger costs than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your uh, electricity yeah. probably goes up more. Let's talk about health insurance. Let's talk oh. about, I mean, <laughs> my God, you know. Yeah, and, and that's a good comparison, Brandon and David. Uh, business premium, it's going from $20 to $22. That's a that's not bad. That's a premium product that's got a lot of stuff in it. In it. And if this isn't the show to talk about what's in it, but if you don't know what's in it, there's a problem with the managed service provider or or somebody's not educating somebody to take advantage of all these things. I mean, you get free Windows licenses. You get free free you know Azure uh, desktop license license abilities, right? Uh, with it, I mean, there's a lot of things. Uh, uh, email security. There's a whole host of things there. E1 Office 365 E1. By the way, I still don't understand why we've got an Office 365 license and a Microsoft 365 license. But the Office 365 E1 going from 8 to 10, off O365 E3 going from 20 to 23, O65, O365 E5, 35 to 38, and then Microsoft 365, which is where the, really their premium SKUs, 32 to 36. That's the biggest jump right there. But that's a that's a premium product that a lot's been added to. Yeah. So is E five changing? Uh, you know what? I checked. I looked today, and I didn't see that it was. I found it was only Microsoft three sixty five E three at the top end was changing. Now, mm. you know, unless I didn't find it, you know, and and one well, of that our, just our, our drives a years. bigger argument to get everybody on E five. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's the reason they're not changing it, or maybe you know maybe I didn't find the information. But that's March first. Those prices go into E five. I'm so Office three sixty five E five is going from thirty five to thirty eight. Yeah. Yeah, O three sixty five E five, but M three not Microsoft three sixty five. Yeah, Correct. it's a little bit different skew. That confuses a lot of people just, too. Just wait, just wait another month. They'll rename them again. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, let's not go, let's not go down that path, please. <laughs> mm. So anyway, so the price increases are coming. All right, and I think I think most reasonable business pre- people will probably agree with us. That's okay, right? Now, what that There's means is nothing you is, can do. It, like you yeah. said, it's coming. So it's it's, it's let's either move that forward. Or on-premise exchange, you know, right. or right. or 
you know, Gmail, you know, <laughs> or something like that. Right. And you no, know, it's a, it's a great product now. So that's March guys. What else is happening in March? Anybody want to tip the scales on that? Hey, well, we're going, we're going, for David's. <laughs> we're going to a new experience. Hold on. Let's get Dave, David's blood pressure. New pressure. commerce experience. Yes, I indeed. love the name of it. NCE new commerce experience. Look, I love Microsoft and all of my friends at Microsoft, you know, I love you, but let's just really call it what it is. It's all subscription. Planning. It's put your ass under contract. That's yeah. what <laughs> <laughs> they, they try to change the terminology to make it. So it's a little bit more palatable. They call it a new commerce experience. Well, for, for most of our customers, right? They're not commercing with Microsoft like that. It's us commercing with Microsoft or the people we're getting it through. Um, let, let's tip the scales on that. Tip that, pull the curtain back on it. You can go mic direct to Microsoft or you can go to a, a Microsoft partner or somebody that does cloud reselling like, like us guys right here, our companies. Um, but we're typically buying it from somebody that's going direct to Microsoft. Okay. That's how it's done. So we're, we're a middleman somewhere in there. And you're paying the same thing. Everybody's paying the same yeah. thing. Everybody's paying the same thing. Of course. And, uh, and there's some inherent benefits to that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, you know, we, we get different levels of support than a tier one provider and depending on who you go with the tier one providers are the people that are reselling it to us, right? They are the ones that they're supposed to provide the support to us to and to the to the customers. And so it's our responsibility. Microsoft has kind of pushed off that support, which is a good thing for them. Right. So let's because their support is amazing, right? Yeah, um, I, I always have great luck with Microsoft. I really do. Uh, so let's talk about NCE, new customer experience, new commerce experience, right? And so what's happening in, in what do I got here? It's going to be actually available starting January 1st, okay? So come January 1st, and guys, correct me if I'm misunderstanding, right? I'm no, I'm no absolute expert and end all be all with this, but come January 1st, we've got a period where we'll be able to transact the way we're transacting monthly changing up and down, so on and so forth, right? March comes, we get that price increase. We can still transact up and down is what I understand for a Until period June. Of time with existing agreements. Okay. So in other words, if you have Microsoft licensing right now, Microsoft 365 licensing right now through your managed service provider. And, and you maintain that, 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 that the subscription, the next subscription you need has to go under NCE up and downing of licensing though, uh, can be the same. Is that what you guys understand? Up and down of licensing. If you don't, if you don't new tenants is what I'm saying. If you get a new tenant or you add a product, it goes under NCE. NCE. Yeah. But you can't scale up and down. Not under NCE, but if you keep, if you remain with what you've got, you've got the price increase mm -hmm. plus. Until they sense. force you into NCE, Until which is going to be the end of the year, I'm sure. Yeah. And so Microsoft is giving promotions. I love these promotions, right? They're giving you the ability. They want you to transact annually or monthly. Would you guys pretty much say that's. What well, they don't doing? want you to transact monthly. The whole mm. goal to NCE is getting you to annual because not only is there the price increase that we were just talking about earlier, but if you decide, Hey, I'm, I want to stay monthly, even though I go to NCE, well, what's that going to cost you now? It's I think an additional 20% on top of that, that it so increases starting in January, any new licensing added. Okay. And, and this is where I get foggy. Does that mean if I have 20 business premiums right now and I add a 21st, that 21st goes in CE? Or if I have 20 business premiums and I add five E3s, does that E3 go in CE? But the other stuff stays the same. Do you I, guys know? I don't believe. No, I don't think anybody knows, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as it is with Microsoft, let's put that big thing out there. They also change these dates. They've already changed it. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And they've always priced things. If you look at them going back years, they've that twelve fifty a month was was in the small print was based on an annual subscription or commitment. Right. So right. it was always there in 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 a certain way to get that rate, even though you're paying it monthly. But there was so, a benefit again to go back to what I was talking about before. The benefit of going to a CSP or a local provider. Number one is support. So the customer doesn't have to go direct to Microsoft, which most end users would not want to do. Mm -hmm. But 
the other benefit was, hey, you can change licensing from one day to the next. Hey, I'm going to use 10 of E5. Tomorrow I'm using 9. Tomorrow I'm the next day after that I'm 15. doesn't matter. You pay for your usage. Completely right. consumption-based. Yeah. Now they don't want you to be necessarily consumption-based. They want you to, again, go back to that annual commitment if you want to even keep any form of discount that you yeah. would have potentially been getting. Yeah. So let's let's on January 1st, when somebody goes into the new customer experience, new customer, I keep new com, com, But but I don't think it's first. I don't think it's forced at that point. No, right? it's not. You still have yeah. options. You still don't have to. Okay. But it will be available then. They have two ways you can do it, monthly or annual. Monthly does give you the ability to go up and down each month. Yeah. Annual. You can still add licenses, you can, but you can't subtract. You're paying for whatever you get, whatever you commit to in an annual agreement. That's completely what you guys understand too? Yeah. The, the other big question that I don't know yet is when you scale up in the middle of a term, is it prorated or is it an annual commitment for those additional licenses? I, I've i read both actually, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know that answer. That's my point. <laughs> I read both ways. You, you, you know though, so... Uh, as I was rereading over some of the promos they have going, there is a pretty good incentive to make the jump sooner than later. Because yeah. if you make it in January versus waiting and you stay month to month, you'll retain that base discount level. You'll still get the the 20% increase or whatever yeah, it is coming that's no coming a what. few months later. Um, but to have you jump forward sooner, you won't get hit by the additional increase by staying month month to month yep. uh, as part yep. of the NCE program. But that's only for a year, I believe they give you because the promo year, yeah. pricing. Yeah. That yeah. is so you're gonna get you're gonna get two increases yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of strange how they've got it here and it's hard to keep track of. So if you go with an annual NCE right now, that will get you the new prices, of course, are, are applying to all this stuff, right? But it will give you a five percent discount off of the, that annual price plan. Okay. So let's suppose you go with the $6, uh, the basic, a uh, basic license under NCE annual on January 1st, when they first release it, will give you $6 minus 5%. Okay. So you're going to pay, what, what is that? Uh, five seventy five dollars and 70 cents, right? Hey, you know, qu yeah. question on this. So annual commitment, under the existing model for a second. So let's say somebody goes and signs up for Office 365 Direct, plugs in their credit card. Unknowingly, they signed an annual agreement, technically speaking, right? Unless they specifically selected the month to month, which is like $3 more, more or whatever money, it is. Right. 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 So let's say they did a, a business standard $12.50 a month um, annual contract. You can still up and down the licenses without a fee. Like if I have 10 licenses and I go to nine, like I'm not committed to nine. I'm just committed to that license type mm -hmm. for a year. So my question is, as we move to NCE, have has there been anything stated like, hey, if I'm at 10 and I do an annual commit, can I go down to nine or am I stuck with 10? I don't think you can. Okay. No. It's been you're stuck specifically now, right? stated you're stuck. Yeah. If you have a subscription now, essentially that stretches out your term is what it does is what it does right now. If you're going direct and you, and you do an annual, it just brings, you know, that money is then applied to that term, but extended a little bit longer. Okay. I mean, the bottom um, line is, is the clients yeah, out there now yeah. that have licenses, you need those licenses. So you, that's what your commitment is going to be is what you have today or whenever this, this goes into effect. Yeah. And but then, my problem with that is we see clients all the time who have existing licenses that are not appropriate, that they bought direct from Microsoft and we come in and we consult with them and we try and restructure their licensing to fit their use and give them the best bang for the buck. And if yeah. they're stuck in an annual NCE contract yeah. with Microsoft direct, they're not going to be able to do that. No, no, yeah. no. I, and you know, if it is Microsoft direct, in the past, if I've taken somebody that has a, my, a subscription directly to, with Microsoft into CSP, in the past, I call up MPN and say, hey, I just converted somebody over to the subscription customer over to, over to uh, CSP, and they credit back their credit card for the difference mm -hmm. in their subscription yeah. if they were direct. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if they'll continue to do that. They might still be locked in. I don't know. You know, 
it, 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 I'm not seeing anything or any talk on that, but that's kind of a back channel thing anyway. Most people don't know that they could do that. Yeah, right? I didn't know you could do that. Who, who oh, are you calling? <laughs> yeah, MPN. <laughs> yeah. Microsoft, Microsoft Partner. Yeah, Microsoft, yeah. yeah. Microsoft, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, let's we, do this. We just let's go in and cancel the subscriptions. and then. Yeah, but sometimes there's a penalty depending on yeah. where in the contract in the there arena. is on it. Yeah. 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 And so you can actually get them credited back. Now, I want to say this much. You can still go monthly under NCE starting in January. So if you want to start a monthly NCE agreement, you can. I'm not sure. The only benefit there is that it is on promo right. until... Uh, until June, June of yeah. 2022, right? At the same price as the annual. So in other words- You can buy yourself six it, months without yeah. committing to a year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're yeah. not committing, um, you know, and but eventually they're going to they're gonna increase that price come that time yeah. up to the highest level price, right? And that is a 20% increase on that $6 license to go month to month. So at that point, the twenty percent increase plus another twenty percent increase. Right? Yeah, you're paying seven dollars, and and from what I got it here, I hope I got my formula right. From what I've got it here is you're going to pay uh, seven dollars and twenty cents to go month to month on a six dollar license. That's that's going to be six dollars right now, um, coming up with the price increase. Seven dollars and twenty cents. That is the ability that gives you the ability to go up and down, right, each month. And again, we talked about that. We, our clients, we have clients that turnover is is high, you know, and they're uh, or seasonal or wh whatever they need, you know, um, and and to, to have that commitment and and it's just well, conversation was, that needs to be had. I was sitting in a Microsoft thing the other day, and their recommendation for those seasonal type employees or businesses is to have both annual and month to month subscriptions. Yeah. Mix. What a nightmare to track. I know. Oh my yeah, gosh. Exactly. Exactly. Well, keep in mind that you won't be tracking that on the tenant side. The customer won't be doing that. You won't be doing it. It'll be on the accounting side. You'll have two SKUs, okay, in the in the back end side that the customer never sees. Two SKUs for the same product. Two SKUs for the same product. Right. Right. And it'll come through as it's like it's just added, added complexity. Yeah. It's just a pain in the butt. You know, but to the customer it doesn't matter. Well, no, they're not, they're yeah. Not so, so customers here, people that are watching this, when our prices increase, you can understand why as well, um, because it, it because their businesses are making it more complex. But I think I, the key here is two things, in my opinion. Um, one, target the NCE will when uh, annual when when it's appropriate, if you ask me. Okay, but I think David, you said it earlier, and I think we've all reiterated it. If you are one of those businesses that needs some up and down flexibility, have an allotment of SKUs that are NCE monthly. I, I think what's really important is if you use a Microsoft product, make sure you're talking to your provider and planning for this yeah. because this is coming whether you like it or not. And they need, like, you need to make a decision soon. Make yeah, sure you have the and, right products. Wow. Well, yeah. It's, not it's not something you want to stick your head in the sand. If your IT providers aren't telling you, you got to ask, you got to, you got to ask them. Cause what, what's going to happen? Are they going to roll everybody by default to an annual? I, that's what I'm going to assume. <laughs> Microsoft is going to, Hey, here you go. <laughs> if I understand correctly, they're all going to roll to the monthly when they do. They are. I don't think that's been finalized yet. Okay. You know, cause you really can't lock somebody in into, into an annual plan. So where so we are the now, increase. Yeah. And I think that's why they're doing that promotion period on an NCE monthly so that when that six dollar license go, goes, so from five right now to six coming up in March. Right. And then come March that when, you know, or when will they be able, when will we stop being able to, they're going to convert everybody eventually to the monthly. Oh, it'll probably be at the end of that promotional period. Right. Mm -hmm. And everybody will be committed to that and it'll go up to seven dollars and 20 cents. And in June of 2022. Yeah. So it's a, that's a big difference right there. No. So I, I don't know if I like this. I don't, I'm not a big fan of these, of forcing people, but I, I think we said it before. If you hire a person and you have to buy a piece of hardware for them, you don't get the benefit of sending that hardware back because you, because they're gone, you know? Yeah. It's kind of in the same note. Plus, it, it 
it costs a lot of money to run, run businesses like this, you know, not that they're hurting for money. Wish I could send some of it my way. So <laughs> overall guys, what do you think? What do you think customers are going to think of this? No one's going to like this. Come on. No. Let's be, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. And I think we try to just separate our, our, our cloud licenses from our, our service invoices to say, you know, this is something, no matter where you, where you go, this is what you're paying. Like, like it's going up where, you know, and I think the, the, the conversations we've had already letting them know that this, this is coming. This is from Microsoft. Here's the article. Here's what you can prepare for. Here's what you're going to pay. And, and just put it out there. And, you know, because what's the alternative? Nothing. <laughs> that's yeah. the, and that's the problem. AOL mail. You, you can migrate to G Suite. What you do can you mean, do G Suite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, let's not. Let, hey, guys, let's not knock Google. Let's not knock Google, right? You know, Why? Not, they're they're good. They've got a decent product out there. You know, and you who knows if we might ever be talking about them. Hey, do you have a Pixel maybe. phone? Are you? Yeah, that's it. No, no I don't. I, I got an Apple I phone. Samsung. I had a Pixel, but I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not. Right. I don't have a problem with Google, but I don't. I don't like G Suite at all. Look, there, this is, there's no easy answer to this. I don't mind a price increase, but this whole other thing is going to be much more complex. There's going to be more lines on a bill for more people to talk about, more people to think about. And we're going to have to, you know, justify with the powers to be in rebudget. I've already got a, I've got a 2,500 seat organization right now that's asking me where their prices are going to be for next year. And I can't really tell them for sure, you know? Right. Because right. um, pricelets actually aren't out from the, from the, uh, from our tier one distributors. I don't have a price list yet. And so they hit this at the worst time of the year for most businesses at the end of fiscal year, you know, when everybody's budgeting. And this is a budget line item when it, when you're a bigger business. Absolutely. All right, guys, any final closing words? Talk to your provider. <laughs> I, was for I, I, I would so definitely funny. audit your usage, right? Audit your licensing and audit your, your trends. Like, yeah pay attention to what people are needing and using in your organization and reevaluate what you have. Yeah. 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 I would, I, I would also add any one of these license types have no less than 35 distinct products and features. Make sure you know what they are and you're getting mm -hmm. the biggest bang for your buck out of each one of yeah. them that they're being applied and used in your business. And if you don't know what they are, ask your IT provider. If they don't tell you, just message us, any one of us, and we'll be happy to happy to fill in the blanks for you. I think we've done a program on that or two, haven't we? If not, we probably should come up in December. What's that? Uh, what what's what these licenses entail? What are entailed in these licenses? What are what make up these products? What are you getting right. Right. You're gonna glaze over everybody talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nobody wants to sit and listen to this. No, I don't think anybody will care. Um, nah, nah, I know. All right, guys, thanks a lot again. Thanks, Jim. Uh, we're here every week. We think that we may be, might be going on hiatus um, sometime in December for the end of our season, uh, but I think we got one or two one or two shows left. We're not gonna. Are we gonna be on next week, guys? I think we're canceling next week. Yeah, we're canceling next week. Everybody, shake your head. <laughs> canceling next week i don't want thanksgiving. To anybody to listen on thanks day before thanksgiving and plus you know i kind of want to lay low but we are coming back the week after that at least for our, our, our show in december then we might go on hiatus on that but this is the reboot thanks a lot for joining us everyone thanks guys thanks guys y'all have fun enjoy your day Take be care. safe yeah hey hey happy thanksgiving we're not going to see them happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving yeah enjoy that family time see you too dave Ha, ha, ha.